Maniacs, I'm totally pumped up today, brothers, because this is the very first Q&A that Hulk Hogan's doing for all my Hulkamaniacs right here from the Clearwater Hogan's Beat Shop, brothers. You know, there's going to be a lot of ways for you guys to submit your questions, including right here at the Clearwater and the Orlando locations. We're going to get into it right now. Okay, Dante, what's your gut on your mind, brother? My name is Dante. Uh, I'm here from Orlando. And my question for Hulk is, I'm sure it's a question he gets a hundred times a day. It's on everybody's mind. Hulk, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, Dante, please, brother. Everybody knows I love the cream. That's how I got so pumped up. That's how I had the largest pythons in the world. It was all that dairy, brother. But at the end of the day, the ice cream was the catalyst. And I would put the ice cream in a blender with the protein and the whole milk and a bunch of peanut butter. But my favorite ice cream to put in that blender, my favorite ice cream to sit around and watch TV all night long, without a doubt, was chocolate, dude. Hulk Hogan loves chocolate ice cream, Dante. Put that in your pipe. Hulkster, my name is Parker. I've got a question for you. How did you feel when you body slammed Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3, brother? Wow, Parker, that's a really good question, brother. You know something? When I got that seven foot four, almost 700 pound, big stinky giant up over my head and slammed him in front of 93,000 people, it was like the tremors around the world. It was like everybody, not only in North America, from, but in Africa, Asia, China, Tokyo, and all points in between could feel the slam heard around the world. It was the greatest thing I ever did in the wrestling ring. It was a one-time deal, brother, and I'm glad that giant went up and came crashing down, Parker. Best question so far, brother. Thank you, Parker. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm from Atlanta, and Hulk, you have been an inspiration to generations of Hulkamaniacs and NWOites. The question I have for you is what inspires you, brother? What gets you going? Well, you know something, Jeff, from ATL, brother? That's a really good question. And the thing that inspires me is just to stay one step ahead of myself and make myself a better person every day. You know, the training, the prayers, and the vitamins. When I first came up with that, brother, I didn't realize how big that would really be. But every single day, I don't look backwards. I always look straight ahead through my windshield, brother, and I want to be a better person each and every day, much better than yesterday. So I just keep getting bigger and bigger, and I want to keep inspiring all my Hulkamaniacs, brother. That's what keeps my motor running, brother. Good question. Travis Hodges from LJ, Georgia. I just want to know what it was like to be on the A-team with all the guys on that show. You know, Travis, I had a blast on the A-team, brother. I can't believe you're that old and you remember that show. But at the end of the day, they wanted me to come on full time and me and Mr. T to be the greatest salt and pepper team ever on TV. But the problem was, I got tired of being a referee. Mr. T would say, oh, Hulk, you can't be George Fapard's friend. He's not your friend. I'm your friend. Those guys were fighting all the time back in the day on the A-Team, but I loved doing the show. I think I did two or three episodes. They wanted me back for the whole next year. But you know what? I'd rather be in the wrestling ring than be a referee between George Fapard and Mr. T. That's a great show, and I can't believe you remember those episodes, brother. Thank you. Frank from Orlando, Florida. Question is, what would you have done if you never ended wrestling? Well, Frank, let me tell you something, brother. Before I got in wrestling, I played music for 10 years. So if I didn't get in wrestling, I'd probably be down at the local Holiday Inn now in a two- or three-piece band playing some dance music just to survive, brother. But I got a feeling if I didn't get into the wrestling business, I'd have still been a rocker, a roller, and a little funky too, brother. So thank God for wrestling. Hey, Hulkster, this is Brad from Daytona Beach, Florida. First of all, I want to thank you for all the memories over the years. My question is, over your entire career, what was the single greatest business lesson that you ever learned? Thanks, Hulkster. You know something, brother? 
Brad Manier from Daytona. I hope you go by and see Jimmy Hart, my manager, at his bar right there on the boardwalk because he's got a great place. But the thing that I learned was to always make your own deal. Don't worry about what anybody else was doing. Don't worry about what anybody else's money was. Don't worry about how hard or how long anybody worked. Always make your own deal. Be the first one there and the last to leave and take care of business, brother. But make your own deal. Hi, Justin Bailey here from San Antonio, Texas. And my question is, what's your personal favorite moment in your wrestling career? Wow, Justin, you just won the prize. You just blew me away. We had some good questions today, but this one puts the icing on the cake, brother. My personal most favorite moment ever, dude, in wrestling was when I won the WWF heavyweight title in Madison Square Garden, January 23rd, 1984 from the Iron Sheik. But there's a backstory to it. We go back many, many years when I was going to the University of South Florida, majoring in finance and management with a minor in music. And after a bunch of years of going to college and quitting to play music, going back to college and quitting to play music several times, I finally quit for good to be a professional wrestler. It just killed both my parents. It just ruined their hopes and dreams for me. So there was a very strained relationship for quite a long time with me and my mom and dad. Then that greatest moment I'm just talking about, a Madison Square Garden where I beat the Iron Sheik, I had both my parents in the audience sitting next to Vince McMahon's wife, Linda McMahon. And when I came back with the belt, Andre was pouring champagne on my head, and my dad and mom came in the dressing room. They both said how proud they were of me. And they were very, very happy that I made that decision to be a wrestler. So that was the personal greatest moment ever in my career. It's time to get down to business maniacs because we just made history, dudes. That was the first Q&A ever by Hulk Hogan for all his Hulkamaniacs right here in Hogan's Beat Shop, brother. But now I got a question from you. From this point forward... With Hulk Hogan being in the prime of his career, with Hulk Hogan being the greatest beach bum ever, with the greatest beach shop, what do you fans want to see me do with wrestling? Do you want me to stay out of it? Do you want me to get back in it? Do you want me to tear the business apart? I want to hear from you guys. I want to get your replies. What do the fans want Hulk Hogan to do about wrestling from this point forward? Right here, I want you to reply with comments and let me know what you think. So what you going to do when the greatest Q&A runs wild on you, brother? What you going to do, brother?